What's up guys, over the last few days, I've been seeing YouTube comments under other videos and even in Quora flooded with the same question of comparing the Ryzen 5 4600H with the Core i5-9300H. So at first I was wondering why are people comparing the Ryzen 5 4600H with the i5-9300H even though the Ryzen 5 4600H is, uh, you know, at the level of Core i7-10 generation, 10-750H. So, I'm kind of shocked that people are actually comparing the Ryzen 5 4600H with the i5 9300H but then I saw that most of the i5 9 generation laptops, gaming laptops are at the same price of Ryzen 5 4600H. So probably that's why most people are asking the same question. So guys in this video we will compare the Ryzen 5 4600H with the Core i5 9300H and see which is the better CPU for entry level uh, PC gaming. And uh, I'll also make another video in the next video where I will compare the Ryzen 5 4600H with the Intel 10750H which is the 10th generation 6 core Intel Core i7 processor. And guys, uh, frankly speaking, you'll be shocked by the result even though I am not kind of shocked. I already expected what the result will be. So without any further ado, let's proceed with the video. And guys, by the way, my name is Iptesh and you're watching the Iptesh Loves Tech. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also turn on notifications. And do follow me on social media at the rate All Star Deep on Instagram where you can direct message me all your queries and I'm always there to help you. So without any further ado, let's start the video. Guys, my channel is not big enough that uh, sellers and uh, companies will send me laptops for a review. So I have collected the benchmarks from Hardware Unboxed video. Trust me guys, they make amazing videos. I do recommend you to go and watch their channel and their videos for in-depth analysis on products and benchmarks. Alright, so let's start with the Ryzen 5 4600H. So we will list out the specifications which has the cores and threads, base clock, the boost clock, level 2 cache, level 3 cache, memory configuration, CMOS and TDP. So the Ryzen 5 4600H has 6 cores and 12 threads. It has a base clock of 3.0 GHz and a boost clock of 4.0 GHz both in one core as well as all cores which means all the 6 cores can boost up to 4.0 GHz. It has 3 MB of level 2 cache and 8 MB of level 3 cache. In terms of memory configuration, the Ryzen 5 4600H supports DDR4 3200 MHz and LPDDR4 4266 MHz. It is based on the 7 nanometer FinFET process by TSMC under the Zen 2 architecture, which means it is very efficient. And it has a power draw of 45 watts. Now let's take a look at the specifications of the Intel Core i5 9300H. So in terms of cores and threads, it supports 4 cores and 8 threads, which means it has 2 less cores and 4 less threads compared to the Ryzen 5 4600H. It has a base clock of 2.4 GHz and a boost clock of 4.1 GHz, but that is only for 1 core. For an all-core turbo, it supports 3.4 GHz. In the cache situation, it supports 8 MB of what Intel calls Intel Smart Cache. It supports DDR4-2666 MHz and LPDDR321-33 MHz. It is based on the older 14 nanometer architecture and has a total power draw of 45 watts. So right off the bat, Ryzen 5 has advantages in having more cores and more threads, higher base clock and boost clock, and it is also based on the newer architecture. Now let's take a look at some CPU benchmarks. The Ryzen 5 is marked in red color and the Intel Core i5 is marked in blue color. Let's start with Cinebench R20 where higher means better. So the Ryzen 5 4600H is ahead of the i5 by 8.49% in single core and in multi core the Ryzen 5 4600H is full 100% ahead of the core i5 9300H. Now we see the same trend in Cinebench R15 where the Ryzen 5 is 6% ahead in single core and 97.2% ahead in multi core. Now that's a huge win for the Ryzen chip. In code compilation, the Ryzen 5 4600H once again flexes its muscles in multi-core abilities as it is 80% ahead of the Core i5 9300H. In Blender 2.8 Classroom Benchmark at 720p, the Ryzen 5 4600H is once again 101% ahead of the Core i5 9300H. In the handbrake benchmark, the Ryzen 5 4600H is 64.7% ahead of the Core i5 9300H. The difference is smaller when it comes to 7-zip compression benchmark where the Ryzen 5 is 25.4% ahead of the Core i5 9300H. 
However, when it comes to decompression, the Ryzen 5 4600H is 42.5% ahead of the Core i5 9300H, which makes a bigger difference. And here is a very important benchmark for you engineers out there. In MATLAB R 2020A, the Ryzen 5 4600H is once again 27.2% ahead of the Core i5 9300H. In the cryptography benchmark, the Ryzen 5 4600H is once again 24.11% ahead of the Core i5 9300H. Now guys, it is a bit interesting in this particular benchmark that is the Puget Systems Adobe Premiere Pro export test. Because in this case, the Ryzen 5 4600H laptop was using GTX 1650 Ti graphics, whereas the Core i5 laptop was using GTX 1660 Ti graphics. The 1650 Ti is much more inferior compared to the 1660 Ti graphics. But despite that, the Ryzen 5 4600H is 14% ahead of the Core i5 9300H in this particular test. Now, if the Ryzen 5 laptop also had the 1660 Ti graphics, then it would have been even more ahead compared to the Core i5 9300H. Same situation in the Adobe Premiere Pro 4K 2 Pass H.264 export, where the Ryzen 5 4600H, despite having disadvantage in terms of graphics card, still manages to be 39.2% ahead of the Core i5 9300H, which features the better graphics card. And at the end, in Adobe Premiere Warp Stabilizer, the Ryzen 5 4600H is 17.2% ahead of the Core i5 9300H. So guys, compared to the i5 9300H, the Ryzen 5 4600H has multiple benefits. It has more cores and more threads, it has better single core performance, it is better in multi-core performance, and as a result, it is better for productivity, which means video editing, rendering, 3D modeling, everything is better with the Ryzen 5. It is better for streaming, so when you're playing games as well as you want to stream, it is going to give you consistent performance. It is based on the latest 7 nanometer Zen 2 architecture, which means the Ryzen 5 is a lot more efficient, it generates less heat, and as a result, it provides much, much, much better battery life. Now, these gaming Ryzen laptops will give you a lot better battery life compared to Intel gaming laptop. Even though according to the naming, the Ryzen 5, its real competitor is supposed to be the Core i5. However, the Ryzen 5 in reality is a lot more faster and more powerful compared to Core i5. In fact, the Ryzen 5 4600H is Intel Core i7 10th generation, 10750H level. And in fact, sometimes even better than the Core i7. And guys, keep one thing in mind. Even though the Ryzen 5 4600H is actually better than the i5 9300H, it is also better than the Core i5 10 generation. It is in fact on level and on par with Core i7 10 generation 10750H. The laptop itself featuring the Ryzen 5 4600H will be a lot lot cheaper compared to Intel Core i7 laptops. Even though the Ryzen 5 is just way more powerful. So it's a win-win situation for us and that's why I'm just recommending people to just wait for the Ryzen 5 4600H laptops to come in India and then just go for the purchase because the performance upgrades, battery life, heat dissipation, everything is just next level. Uh, less heat, less temperatures, more efficient, much better battery life compared to Intel. So the Ryzen 4000 series mobile chips just have a lot more advantage compared to the Intel mobile chips at the moment. So in the next video, we will compare the Ryzen 5 4600H with the Core i7 10750H and you will see that the Ryzen 5 is still on level of Core i7 10th generation and the Ryzen 7 4800H is just way 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 better than the Core i7 uh, 10th generation or 9th generation whatever it is. In fact, it is the level of Core i9. So all that in the next video. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also turn on notifications. Follow me on Instagram at the rate All Star Deep, and you can always comment all the queries down below and also on my Instagram account where I can always help you with your queries.